Hello everyone. I am here today to do this video of these two journals that I made and I'm so excited. I absolutely love how these turned out and I definitely want to make some more of these. Um, this was, a, a lot of this was inspired from Lori, Girl on the Ridge. Um, I'm not sure exactly if she has made this, made a pocket before, um, but she does do the altered folders where they flip every which way and they're just so beautiful. And so, um, Dee Dee had sent me some um, different papers that was avocado dyed and things. And she put it in this really large, do you see, that's how big the actual um, folder was. And I cut it not quite in half. Um, and I made two pockets out of it for two different journals. And this is um, my design team project for Tina this month at Shabby Dabby Doo Doll. So I think these are really pretty and I think they're perfect for the month of February because they're really romantic. Um, of course, they're very shabby chic. And I'm hoping I'm staying in, um, in frame because I've got my setup different today and I can't really see what I'm doing. So I'm hoping that you guys can see all the details here. I mean, I did put a lot into this. Uh, this fabric came from Emily and this little piece here and then this beautiful piece right here, which I have on both of those. And then I have some more fabric here from Emily. So thank you so much, Emily. That was part of my Christmas present. And then I have some shabby roses and then I added some of my lace and some of these flat back pearls. Um, and on this one, it has a butterfly, and it's got uh, more of the pearls over here. I just, I love how it turned out. I made a pocket on the front of each, as you can see, and it is sewn. Hoping you can see all that. It's just so much detail. It's just so pretty. I love the layering. It just turned out perfect. So we'll start with this one. And oh my word, I forgot to see exactly which kit this is. I printed a bunch of her kits off <laughs> at one time. Um, I know this is Teardrop Valley. That's what this one is, and it is lovely, and it is huge. I mean, I was nowhere near using all of this. I mean, I still have a ton of the pieces. Um, I could literally make another entire journal, which I think I will do. Um, this is Teardrop Valley. This one is, I know what it is and it'll come to me during the video, hopefully. Um, Cause now I can't remember. I, I printed so many off and this is one of the new ones I just requested. So um, if I think about it, I'll tell you, if not, I might link it below if I can't remember. But it is so pretty. And this is some of her background uh, pages and I just made it the cover and sewed around it and added some lace. I left this front kind of plain because I wanted it to fit in here. And I thought actually it was pretty enough. It really didn't need much. Um, I like her her print. And I just saw, I tied it with some sorry. Um, let's see here. And the paper throughout that I used is, um, there's different coffee dyed and avocado dyed papers from Dee Dee. And here is a pocket I made in the front. And then here's some of the journaling cards that I made on, um, I think I did a video of that. And just look at the, the lovely journaling cards. I love this. Oh, what is this called? And just like a top tuck there and added some more of the fabric there and just sewed it on. And then some more of the journaling cards. And then I took one of her um, clocks and I just put it over top of one of my tabs. I thought that was really cute because usually I do like um, a butter, um, not a butterfly, a button. But I thought that was really cute. So I added that there. And then I did kind of like a cluster here with, you know, another tab. And then I just added one of her um, little, it's a teeny tiny card there. And then I made um, this pocket 
This was one of her pockets that was plain, and I like that because I could decorate it myself. So I fussy cut some of her flowers and then added her card there. And then there is one of um, the journaling cards I made with Edith Holden. Look how cute. And I just, I like that with this paper here, and this is Dee Dee's paper. It is just gorgeous. And this just flips out. And then right here, I hope I'm in the frame, guys, um, is like a coin envelope. And I just added um, one of her uh, journaling cards in there. I love this little coin envelope, and I just folded it over. Put that on with a paper clip. And then I added some of this um, crocheted lace there. And then this is some of her um, stationery that she gives you in the back of your kits. And I just folded it over and put it right there. I did print it out on cardstock. Um, there's some sorry silk. And then here, I just made a little um, cluster here with some sorry silk and then one of her little cards. And here is a mason jar that I made a long time ago. I did that on video. Also, I did a tutorial for those. And um, I love the, the the houses and stuff that she um, that she adds, the buildings. And then there's just a little a fabric cluster there. And then there is a vintage canceled um, check from 1965. And then this beautiful image right here. I love this. And I added some lace here to this side. This is actually the center. And I made this a pocket. So it's like an envelope that you can actually store things. Look at that paper. Dee Dee does such an amazing job. But I really like that. I think I'll do more of those. Um, I like the way that turned out. And then I just did a small pocket here. And I did some more of her um, ephemera. Now, Tina does not, uh, is not chintzy with her kits. You get huge kits with Tina, and you have so much to work with and play with. And here's another little pocket. Some really pretty images um, with her kit. What is the name of this kit, for heaven's sakes? Um, it's on the tip of my tongue. That's terrible. I printed out too many at one time, and now I don't know. Then I just did this little cluster up here with some lace, and then there's another pocket. I like to use her, um, I love this one, her journaling cards for pockets because they're always so pretty. And then there's that fabric tab with the button. And then here on this side, I just have an envelope that is from the kit. And there is one of her cards inside. And then I just added another one um, on the other side of the paper clip there, which I am not liking this setup, guys. I'm all over the place. <laughs> I like it the other way. Okay. And then here is the fabric tab. Again, I put a lot of fabric tabs in this one. Then I did a upper tuck there, and I added some of the leftover paper that was... Um, from Dee Dee, but it's in this journal. Uh, I think this is avocado dyed, I think. I did it there, and then I can't work around this tripod, and I love this. Isn't that so pretty? I hope you guys can see that. And then here is a pocket with more of her beautiful journaling cards. And then I just added some sorry silk and then just a silk flower there. And I did not put a button or flat back pearl because it is in the middle and that would really obstruct your writing. And I like the staples, so that's what I did. And then I just made this little pocket here and just layered different embellishments or ephemera pieces on there. And then this is the back and there is an Edith Holden tag that I, uh, made and another piece of uh, ephemera it is so beautiful i absolutely love this so i cannot remember the name of this guys i am so sorry i don't know where my mind has went um i 
cannot think of the name of this kit. I printed off too many at one time and now I'm forgetting, but there is one of them. I love this one and I love this kit. I love all of Tina's kits. That's why I am on her design team because I love, 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 love her work. So here's the other one. And like I said, this is Teardrop Valley, which I think is adorable. And this journal, I forgot to tell you the measurements because I'm not even sure at the moment. Let me see. This is like five and a quarter. It's not even really a quarter. It's like five by seven and a quarter. It's a nice size. I like this size. It's probably one of my favorite sizes. Um, this one is the standard size. And there is, I didn't show you the other one, but there is, look at that. I put my two favorites right in the front so you can see them in the pocket there. And then this one, I'm gonna take that out. There's the large, and I just kind of distressed around it, if you can see that, but it's the large, um, like, uh, what do you call it? I just told you, stationary that she adds in the back of her kit. It's the very back two pages, I think. I just love this one. I'm really into blue right now, and I don't know why. Um, this one turned out really pretty. I just used, this paper is cardstock from, oh, a family tree, I think is what it's called. It's um, Paper Studio. And I used two pieces and just sewed it together and just layered some lace and some fabric. And then this beautiful piece that was left over um, from doing the covers. And then this uh, journaling card, and it's got a uh, sorry silk closure, and it's just adhered all the way around, like that. This one, as you can see, it has all kinds of beautiful tabs and things sticking out, which I love. Oh, this one, I think it's my favorite. It was the that one until I made this one, so you know. Now it's this one. Here's a piece of um, her stationery love it and then i just added this tag from uh it's edith holding paper that i made it has the eggs the bird eggs and i thought that was really pretty with this and i just made a small pocket here and just added a few of the smaller pieces um so there's just more writing and then here usually i put a lace flip and i had had it i added this this is just a real sheer material this was actually on um my aunt's prom dress and my grandmother gave it to me uh, my aunt told her that i could have it and i've been using bits and pieces here and there and i made a full pocket instead of the flip and so i thought that was really pretty um i like that and i've never made a full pocket like that before um, i would have rather sewn it but my um, signature was already together so um i just adhered it with some glue and you can't even tell, but it is really, really pretty. Um, here is another one of those tags or journaling cards I made in a guest check. Look at the bird, isn't that so cute? And then I just added a fabric tab here on this vintage uh, music paper. And then here's some more of Dee Dee's avocado dyed paper. And I love, love, love this one. It's got hints of blue. I don't know if it's gonna show up, but it's really, really pretty. And then there are some of those flowers. And then here was a piece of vintage, let's see, what was this? Was it a pillowcase? No, it was a table runner. And I just cut it uh, with my pinking shears and just kept the embroidery piece for the edge of the paper there. There's another fabric tab, and this is fabric from um, Emily. And there's another one here. And then here is one of Tina's large um, coin envelopes. And it is so pretty. I just, I love, I love the print. I love the blue. And I'm, you know, I'm a pink person, but I'm really into blue right now. I think it can be just as shabby chic. It don't have to be pink. And then this pocket here, this come from Emily. This was a beautiful handkerchief and I uh, made it a pocket can see that and um, I added a mason jar and this beautiful uh, journaling card I love this journaling card and as soon as I turn the camera off I'm gonna remember the name of that kid and that the way it works and there's a doily that I dyed and 
look at this. I love this house. Like, I could definitely live in that little house. And then there's a um, journaling card. So there's lots of bees. Look at that. I love this picture. There's lots of bees and the flowers. And I'm not sure what kind of flowers these are. Um, but they are beautiful. And then I took this little die cut and I just um, made it come off the page. I love that house. That is so pretty. And then I just paper clipped on a um, double journaling card and I added another one behind it and then um, a butterfly there that's from the kit. This is the center and I just sewed a really big <laughs> um, fabric ruffle there and just it's just a little tuck. Um, and I just added a piece of the paper that I used for the inside cover and then one of her beautiful, beautiful cards. Oh, love it. And then I added just a little bead dangle there. And then there's a butterfly there with a flat back pearl. And uh, this here, I actually left one large, like an, it's not an O-ring, but it's like oval. So you could add something if you wanted to add to that charm. And of course that can be taken off. That's just on there with a bulb pin. And then I ha added one of her banners with um, this bird. I just kind of let it hang off the edge. I love that. And there's a tab here with a flower and a small pocket up here with a lot of different um, little um, ephemera pieces. It's just so cute. I think I'll use this again. Well, I know I will. Um, I love it. And here is two more. Look at the little bees. They're so cute. I don't even like bees because I'm allergic to bees, but <laughs> this, this kit's cute. Look at that. I love that fabric. Thank you so much, Emily. It just matched perfect with this. And then there's a top tuck there. And I've just added these two pieces here. The other side of that vintage... Um, music paper and a tab and then this pocket and I loved this card and so of course I made it into a pocket and just added a couple journaling cards here and look at this how this turned out I love this little tab I used some um, of this really thick crocheted like it's not really crocheted but it's um, the thick uh, lace and then I added some, I had one little piece of that um, fabric left. And so I put it on there and added that button. I was like, I'm not wasting that. I love that fabric. And then here I just made a side tuck and added some more of that lace there. And then this large, um, it's being used as a journaling card, but it's I think one of her stationary pieces as well. So there is that one. I am really loving these. Um, I love how they turned out. I loved doing the covers. They were a lot of fun. Um, these were very time consuming, but I think they were well, well worth it. Um, if you guys are interested in these, just um, message me on uh, my email, which will be listed below, or you can message me on Etsy, but I'm not listing these in my shop, so. But thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you to all of those that have been playing the What's in the Ten. I think it is so much fun. I think everybody's enjoying it. And congratulations, Mary Reese, for our very first winner in that series. I hope you guys will stay tuned for that. I'm going to continue to do it all year. You never know when. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a blessed day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.